across a bumper sticker many years ago in Israel, which to my mind captured exactly what human relationships, interpersonal relationships are all about and how to succeed in them. Unfortunately, many years ago, as today, where the, uh, the accident rate and the mortality rate in the roads in Israel is very high, there was a campaign to try and stop people from driving recklessly. And the following bumper sticker I noticed on the back of the car, which was so profound, it said as follows, Al tihyeh tzodek tihyeh chacham. You don't have to be right, you have to be smart. In interpersonal relationships, it is never about how right we are. People go down to their grave believing that they were right and the other person was wrong and destroying the relationship in the process. It's not about how right you are, it's how smart you are. And I must say, as a rabbi, the four dreaded words I would often hear when there were problems between people and challenges going on, I would often hear people say the following words. They would say, Rabbi, it's about the principle. And I would say, no, it's never about the principle. It's about the person. If you want to get on with people, the biggest impediment, the biggest um, barrier is principles. If you're going to hide behind principles and say, I need to teach people lessons, and they were wrong, and it's a principle. I'm looking for justice and principles. You will destroy human relationships. Where are principles important? Between man and Hashem, absolutely be a principled person. Business dealings, be principled. But when it comes to sensitive issues between people and getting on with people, it's never about the principle. It's about the person. The principle is secondary. The person is primary. Are you getting on with people? Are you able to get past the principles and actually get on with people? And I want to end with an incredible Talmudic piece in Masechet Bab Metziah Daf Lamed Amud Bet, a teaching of Rabbi Yochanan, which goes to the heart of what the three weeks of mourning are all about, the Churban Beit HaMikdash. Says Rabbi Yochanan incredibly, Lo Charva Yerushalayim, do you want to know why Jerusalem was destroyed, the temple was destroyed? Ela Al Shedanu Badin Torah, because people ran their lives according to Torah, to Torah judgments. The Gemara says, what? Of course people need to run their lives according to Torah judgments. No, says the Gemara, and here's the impactful words. It says, Lo avdu lifnim He'emidu dinahem al din Torah. Yes, they ran their lives according to din Torah. But what did they not do? Lo lifnim mishratadim. They did not run their lives according to beyond the letter of the law. You can stand up with the letter of the law and destroy human relationships, believing you're right, and you may be right. But you've rather got to go to the spirit of the law. And the spirit of the law is this. That ultimately Jewish law, especially Chosh and Mishpat about interpersonal relationships, is simply, are we able to get past the letter of the law and are people able to get on with each other? The spirit of the law is that Hashem wants people to get beyond Sinat Chinam, beyond their judgments, beyond their principles and what they feel are they are so just about and so right about and to be smart to get on with each other. And may we during these three weeks leading up to Tisha B'Av, may we be Ezrat Hashem, Put our principles with people aside and first and foremost see the person that Hashem wants nothing more that we're able to get on with each other each and every day uh, in a way that brings us closer together and not further apart.